Alright, listen. So obviously I'm here in nine seven one lounge. We haven't re we haven't been live for a bit, have we? We haven't it really put anything out there for a while. Everyone's been busy and um we've been doing our own thing, but we're back now and we're 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 back for a while. But today it's about Euros twenty twenty. I don't know, some people are happy, some people are disappointed. A bunch of opinions and that's what we do, man. We just wanna hear everyone's opinions, we wanna hear what everyone thinks, we wanna hear everyone's input and that. And um, that's why we're here. But today I'm here with my with my bro C on my left, my bro P on my right, and to the far right, I'm with Fahim, aka Hezbollah. <laughs> <laughs> I am joking, I'm uh, sorry. We're going to get to that. <laughs> 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 right, but not on set yet, but I'm with my other people. My bro Kofi, all the way here from Ghana, Accra. Don't know. I'm with H, Mr. DSD, that starts tomorrow. I'm with my bro, with my bro Femi, and I'm with my coward Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley was supposed to be on this live today. I spoke to Bentley today. He spoke to my to everyone today. He said he's got so much opinions and so much things to voice, but all of a sudden it was time for showtime, and Bentley went missing. He said I can't do it. I'm a bit scared. I don't want my, my I don't want my links to see me on camera. I might I might see something. I might say something that I get embarrassed about. I'm a bit scared. But it's all good though, man. It's all love. All right, so today we're going to be chopping it up about the Euros 2020. Did England do enough? Are we satisfied? Can we go again? We'll see, man. You know what I mean? I, I just want to ask my people on set, like, what do you think generally about, about the whole experience, the tournament? How did we do? Are you satisfied? Are you disappointed? Of course we're going to be disappointed. We didn't win the fucking thing. It didn't come home. But... Overall, how do you think? How do you think about the performance? How, how do you think we done on that one? Let me hear from you, Pete. Yeah, you can't not be happy with how they brought it to the final. I was saying this earlier in terms of like, we didn't expect it to get to the final. So the fact that they got there, you can only give them credit for that. But yeah. Everyone obviously wants to focus on the fact that they didn't win. But boy, for me, seeing the way that they all stepped up, it's a very young team and obviously going into the, the, the actual competition and we was definitely not favourites and... Obviously, the big teams, they didn't step up and we came through and we got to the final and brought it all the way to penalties. We've arguably the best team in the team. Best defender, bro. They, they haven't been beaten in 33 games. 33 Could games. be 34, actually, 34, with, yeah, with the England age. game. Three 34, years. fam. Do you know what I mean? That's a very, very long time. And Italy... Five goals. Fam. Trust me, Italy have won the World Cup. Do you know what I mean? This is this is a team that is like a world class team on so many different levels. They got players that, that have won the Champions League more than once in the last five years, or a lot more experience. I I just don't see how we could be disappointed. For him, what do you think? Nah, uh, I agree, bro. I agree because I think obviously for the last what fifty five years <laughs> we've not been into the final. So <laughs> to get to the final is an achievement in itself. I can't lie. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh yeah, we had the home advantage, we had easy games and stuff. But you have to remember that this is a young team. This Half is the players were playing in the Euros for the first time. Yeah. So, you know, you have to give credit where it's due. I can't lie. And like I, I said well. earlier, like I said earlier, it's tournament football, bro. Anything can happen in tournament football. Certain teams. people that haven't played in tournament football their whole life think that they can call my team pathetic <laughs> and say that, <laughs> say that, say that, like, say that we didn't do what we were supposed to do, but they have no experience in the football game, even on a shit level. <laughs> but they want to, they want to take my brothers for what they done on the, on the, on, on the most elite level. Guys, what are you saying? What do you think about the, the performance from the boys? Yeah, I agree with all of you lot, but to be honest, I'm a little bit conflicted on it still. Because, yeah. Um, I feel like this is probably one of our best opportunities to, to, to win a trophy. And yet I don't think you're necessarily going to get such an easy opportunity next round. That We had a lot of, what I say, tailwinds behind us. We had a lot of things going for us in terms of the home advantage, in terms of the, the types of teams and countries that we were playing. Like all of like the top seeded teams were on the other side of the table and they were knocking each other out. So we had a lot of things in our favour and I just think at the last hurdle we kind of failed. But we still have to be proud of what they've done. But I think, yeah, it, it, it probably could have been better with a bit of managerial decision making, which I'm, I'm sure we'll get to. Yeah, this, I, this podcast. I know, man, but I don't know, man. We've never, ever been to the final of the Euros. No, the I hear that, though. Still, we I went to the final what, of the 1966. That was the World Cup. Yeah. That's different variables, whatever. But for the Euros, we've never, ever, ever been to the final. 
But I can get what you're saying in the sense that... And, and I, yeah, sorry to jump in, but I yeah. hear what you're saying in terms of like the fixtures that we had it kind of easy in terms of like we didn't get drawn against France, Portugal, but we still played some hard teams on the day. Like Croatia's not an easy team to play against. Same They're as not. Denmark in the form that they was in. Obviously, we beat Germany comfortably. Like we we beat Germany. That's, that's a serious team. So it's that's like we team, stepped still. up and we brought it all the way to the final at the end of the day. Was that a penalty? Yeah. Was that a penalty? Who? Sterling. Oh, no, that was against Denmark. Was it? Was Denmark? Is that what we were talking about? I no, no, no. We you're, beat just, you're just switching topics. How did we just jumped? <laughs> what did we beat? But while we're on it, yeah, you're talking about Sterling's penalty. That's yeah. Denmark. That was what Denmark. Yeah, but what did we want? How did we beat Germany? Germany was 2-1. Well, I forgot all Germany, of the um, stuff. Germany was Kane yeah. and Sterling. Germany was 2-0. We beat header. Germany 2-0 and people can have complaints, fam. Comfortably, that's what I'm saying. Jokers. What, so there's penalty. What do you think? Penalty or not? What penalty or not? But Sterling, yeah, I, I there don't was contact, so you could give it. You know, but as I was saying, like, if it was on the other team, we, man, bro, we the been. streets, all the Denmark, <laughs> everyone who lives in England is from Denmark would have been killed. <laughs> would have been killed. <laughs> what no, it, what do you think? Penalty? Chaos. I, I thought it was a penalty, but I don't think we needed that penalty because the way we were playing, we were going to score anyways. But I thought the same thing against Italy, fam. I thought that we were, we were going to have it somehow. But you see that penalty, my stance on it is, and why it's a penalty is because you can't, in the modern game, you can't make contact. You can't the make box. that challenge and in the box man. and Twice not get the well. ball. Yeah, if you don't Trust. get the ball, it's a penalty. And that's what Sterling does. He draws fouls. It, it, you see, see what he's done? Yeah, that was really amazing about that. The f- he tried it once. Basically, all he's got to do, the ball's in front and he's just got to get his hips behind in front of the defender. The moment you have that, you've got an opportunity either to get past him or to draw a foul. Mm. If that was outside the box... That's a guaranteed free kick, and we wouldn't be having no arguments whether it's a foul or not. Mm. If it's in a penalty area, it's got to be the same thing. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, yeah I, think, I think it was a penalty. It was a penalty. Um, but, uh, like, flipping, what's that? Like, uh, Peter Schmeichel, Gary Neville, they weren't, they, weren't, they weren't really feeling the penalty, but, yeah, oh, feel, well. Personally, I feel the referees had a good tournament. I think they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, Those referees were sound. Yeah, Can't I learn. think they definitely, they definitely performed. Obviously, there were some decisions that was a little bit sketchy, but I think overall they had a really good... Hey, is it me or is do it or, or does anybody else feel like VAR in the Premier League is a different level to VAR in the Euros? It's a lot yeah. stricter. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah, when, yeah. when you get VAR in the Premier League, yeah. yeah, they look for like five minutes. Like they're checking the lines mm. if it really touched them, mm. a little yeah, yeah. piece. Like, but in the Euros, Euros that I think no, Euros. Uh, is <laughs> 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 uh, carry on. Uh, 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 it's cool. Yeah. Go on. Then. It's more common. Like, I just feel like in the Euros, like they weren't really getting a VAR, but that's what I've seen with. A lot of like, you know, when you watch the Spanish league and when you watch the Italian league and that, they don't really give a fuck about VAR too tough. And I think that's correct. I feel like you have to fully go with what you see live because if you slow things down, you're probably going to get things look a little bit more different. Even the offside things and stuff like that. Like with the lines and all that bullshit, it's part symmetrical of the game, triangles yeah. and that. Part of fucking the game. got me thinking like I'm trading again, trying to draw support and resistance oh, lines. Did you like, say Benji? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on. You said apology, yeah? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> yeah. yeah? Come on, Jay. But yeah, like with VAR, the, the whole purpose of it is to find clear and obvious errors. Yeah. And what I think they do in the Premier League is they it's don't find much. clear and obvious errors. Yeah. They just find any minuscule, like... My pubic hair was just a bit too far forward. <laughs> my pubic hair was offside. Yeah. This is <laughs> offside. You know what I mean? so, my toenail grown a bit too much today. Exactly. I'm offside now. So you just, just got to apply a bit of common sense. <laughs> my nose is, is too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me. My nose is long. I'm offside. I mean, barely, let's go back to England, though. Yeah. Specifically. Yeah. Pacific. Right. Specifically. Specifically. <laughs> yeah. The tournament progress. Obviously, yeah. what was England's best game? I think we sm- no no okay maybe I think because of the pressure that was on the game it being the first one we had at Wembley against Germany as well that normally smacked us just I think they stepped up they they done their thing I think that was the best game. What about had. um Ukraine was it you was it Ukraine did we beat four 0 Yeah. Who did we beat four 0 Yeah Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you beating someone 4 0 in the quarterfinals, I think that's fucking ridiculous. Like that's yeah. that's crazy. No, but I think the Germany I think the Germany was the best game. Yeah, because they didn't yeah. even score a goal. Yeah, uh, uh, Germany game was the best game for me. That for Italian me. goal in the final was a bunch of bullshit though. Jordan Pickford, I uh, I mean uh, I don't really want to get onto him, but No, but he saved. He should have tipped it around the corner a bit. Nah, nah, nah. 
You can't, you can't really blame him for that, to be honest. You can't really blame yeah. him. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan had a game. Nah, you can't, he, he had a good, really like, he, he, had bro, a he had a good, he had, he had a, a very game. good tournament. But I just think when it comes to it, like, so are we gonna di- are we gonna dissect the Italy game now? Are we gonna dissect it and see? Yeah, what, I just what, think. What yeah, where wrong? did we go wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's that needs that's to be the, yeah. the main focus. All right, okay. What do you think? So basically, obviously, if you're gonna dissect the England game, the only question is, did Southgate get it wrong or right? Got it wrong. That's it. So, yeah. Then that's Did he it, get it wrong or right? Yeah, he got it wrong. That's but you, you, you know though. the problem. I don't. You see the, what I think. What I don't like about that is his decisions throughout the tournament. No, 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 no. Hey, let me hold on. Let me let, let me, me jump finish. In let me jump in there. Let, let me, me land. Let, <laughs> okay, right, let me get to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> see his decisions okay. throughout the tournament. <laughs> Well, brazy, perfect. Every single, the moment, he, you know what he did that I really liked? That everyone was really against. He started Mason Mount over Grealish pretty much every single time. And a lot of people had a lot to say about that. But when you know about football, you know that you need a balance in the squad. And I understand, Grealish is a creator. He is. But, but he's not a man that will play the whole match and extra time. And he knows that. And he's not the sort of guy that will keep running like a fucking animal he's for not. the whole game. And he is an impact player. To when you're playing on. the elite of the elite mm. of the elite, mm. you need someone that brings balance. And I just feel Do like some think, people just don't Mason see Mount that. Is more elite than Grealish? No, no not no, even. No. I think in the sense of the dynamics of the game and what he brings to the game. For example, that's the reason Fred plays for Man United. Even though I want to, I want to <laughs> every time I see him on the team sheet, I want to kill myself. <laughs> but he brings balance. He brings energy. He, he's not the best player. He's not as good as Van der Beek. And he's not as good as maybe some other people we have on the bench. But so th- theme, say your point. he yeah. provides uh, balance. Basically, I think yeah, all right, Southgate got it right throughout the tournament. But in the final, I think he got it wrong. That's my opinion. The reason for this is... Okay, he bought on Sancho, he bought on no, Rashford. We're going to get onto the penalty later. No, 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 no I'm just saying. He, no, we're uh, get he onto made the penalty the later. And he bought the people on, he bought them on too late. That's my opinion, right? Yeah. Whether he, whether he started with Mason Mount or Grealish is not really a thing for me. But when he bought them on, he bought them on too late. And you can't be taking off players and then bringing on Sancho, who's barely played the tournament. I just said we'll get onto the penalty later. But yeah, but I'm, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? But that's where the right. decisions are, though. That's right, where the cool. decisions are. Uh, uh, before, before we get onto the penalty, then, yeah. uh, I'm going to explain why I feel like he got it wrong on the day. Yeah. I feel like he made a lot of critical decisions from very early on. So first of all, I think the lineup was a little bit wrong. Same. I feel like it was too defensive going forward. Mm. We then luckily scored within the first two minutes, which then messed up his programme. Mm. So what he tried to do for 88 minutes is, mm. is sit and hold Italy for 88 minutes, which you're not going to do. They're eventually going to get an opportunity to yeah. score. So in my mind, you should have tried to get the second goal and they probably wouldn't, wouldn't have scored two goals. The third thing after that is when Italy scored. Once they scored... He then tried to get more defensive to play for extra time. I don't see what benefit extra time or penalties is going to do for England versus Italy when you're playing against one of the best goalkeepers in the world. What you should have done is then become more attacking because they've got yeah, older, yeah. even if they've got experienced defenders, those They're defenders old. are older. older. Yeah. So if yeah. you have and people slow. attacking them exactly on the left flank, on the right flank, just hammering their wings, they're eventually going to get tired. They're eventually going to make a mistake. They're eventually going to do a, a late tackle, a sloppy tackle. And we've got a potential opportunity to to get a goal from that front. Yeah. Cool. You bring on Henderson to obviously shore up the defence. Then yeah. when you get to extra time, you take Henderson off when he's going to be one of the most prolific, in my opinion, penalty experienced. takers. Experienced. And most experienced penalty takers, which for me, now he's a solid penalty taker. More so yeah, than, yeah, I agree. than Them for Saka. me, than taking the Saka. Yeah, I, if yeah, you yeah. gave me 10 opportunities to get a penalty, I'd rather Henderson than Saka. Yeah. Yeah. Look does at Henderson look take at penalties for Liverpool? Yeah, 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 he, does. Does. yeah. He, does. he does. Yeah, yeah, of course. He does. Yeah, but, and, and it's not even a debate versus someone that's never taken a penalty. Like, this is not yeah. about, like, someone that's good and someone that's great. This is someone that does it and someone never does it. Do you know what I mean? It shouldn't even really be a debatable topic in a, in a Euro final. Yeah. Then you try and bring on Sancho Rashford in a hundred and nineteenth minute and twenty five seconds, <laughs> yeah. they nearly didn't get on. Yeah, exactly. So your your game plan of bringing them on nearly didn't even work because it was only the ball never ne- nearly didn't even go out into play. So for me, there were so many critical decisions. And then Grealish, the Grealish decision is that he came on way too late. If too you late. brought him on, say seventy minutes, sixty minutes, I think he would have had a bit. Of, you saw the impact he had the moment he came on. So in my opinion. 
there was about six or seven key decisions that he didn't make at the right times, which caused us to lose more so than the actual penalties that were taken. That's my personal opinion. So yeah, he yeah. done well the whole tournament. Yeah, he done a lot of good decisions in other games to to get us that far, a hundred percent. But I just think at the final hurdle, I don't know if it was pressure. I don't know if he just thought he can see the game out on a one nil. But he made a lot of really bad decisions, and yeah. that's where I think we lost. I it. agree, hundred percent. Preach, man! Come on, man! Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Let me test the right team. Let me test the right blood team. What are you saying? What are you saying? You're feeling that? You feeling that one yet? You feel that? Oh yeah, you feel that one. That one hit the soul in that one, yeah. man. Yeah. That's what you really wanted. That's what that's what you were supposed to come on to say here, but you bottled it and that. You fucking coward. You would have missed the penalty as well. You prick. Yeah. Arsenal supporter fan. Just like the Arsenal player. Just like Arsenal players, fam. You look all the same. Nigerian as well. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but here, you know? I, I, got, I, got, I got something to say. Basically, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I, I completely agree. But I think also players need to take a bit of ownership as well. Like, that's, let, let, wait, wait. That's me, what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. You know what? Like You've got like senior players there, yeah? They should have stepped up and said, look, you know what? Let me go forward. Do you know what I mean? Take the penalty. You cannot let Saka go and take the most crucial penalty out. Yeah. So, I, I don't, I don't, so yeah. as much as we're saying, yeah, Southgate got it wrong and stuff, but I think there should be some ownership. So there's, there's a theory players. going around, just to, to your point, and I, obviously I can't substantiate and say because I went in the locker room or whatnot. But Grealish. But no, not even oh. just Grealish, that Southgate decided to choose all of the penalty takers as opposed to them appointing themselves. Yeah, see, this is where I, do I don't know, because I heard that. And, and the reason why is because if it went wrong, he wanted to take the blame for it. So he's like, I'm trying to take the bullet for the team. Yeah. I can't I verify that. it. Yeah, but yeah. I if, hear that. But really but and truly, people should volunteer because like, I might be a great penalty taker, but just nervous on the no, day. No, but I or, think it should be a collective a, decision because like, okay, exactly. you know what? <laughs> no, you're shit. You're not taking nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, because, you know, but you what's know your, what? What's your record tell you? Hey, hey, listen, after this, I'm going to put the video up of Bentley missing that penalty in the tournament. No, you don't your thing no, still. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Care. You don't your thing still. Clap for him and that. Clap for him and that. Give him a clap on that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? I didn't hear him. <laughs> Yeah, but you haven't. You've been playing football. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> nah, but listen though. You've been, bro. Man, are older than that. Man, are getting older than that. But bro, you just started playing football since you came to the back, bro. Bro, I'm. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah, but so what? Yeah, but Africa A is a bit different than that. I listen, but you you haven't played an eleven a side game. I know that for sure. You've never, you've never. Hey, right, tell me what offside is. Don't worry, don't embarrass yourself. Hey, right, Pete, let me hear you. <laughs> you ask the same questions as my girl, baby. What's offside? <laughs> <laughs> This is why I hold it on the side. I'm a clap for them, man. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen. Man said, it, man said he's asking questions like, why does the man at the back wear a different colour kit? Yeah, trust me. Why are there four officials on the pitch and that? Come on, man. Yeah. I right, fucking out. Hey, right, let me, Pete, let me hear from you. What do you, what do you think about the decisions and that? Um, I think again, he only made. I think people feel he made the wrong decisions because we didn't win. Because if it worked out the way he worked it, and we won the penalties, you would say he actually planned the whole thing from the beginning. Yeah, just so like the, like just like, like the rest of the games. The same, the rest of the games. Every single the rest of the game, you're like, oh, why are you not going on greedy shit? Why are you not starting, my man? Why are you not start? And then he wins, and then you don't doubt him. You let Trust. him go to the next round. So it's like, yeah, you can say a lot of things could have changed. Yeah, but, but again, I, it's just, that, just and again in the yeah, one go on, more. Go on, go on, go on. These men train for this, fam. Bro. These men are in the training ground every single day, practicing penalty. They've obviously planned this out. They know what they're doing when they're going into it. These men have said, I want to take the penalty. They yeah. stood up, and obviously on the day, it just it didn't, just work, didn't out, work out. You see Rashford, you think, like, it was actually a good penalty, fam. Yeah. Like, he sent the keeper the wrong way. Yeah. He just didn't score the goal. Like, yeah. it, no, it, hit the post. Post. it was off target, so I don't uh, count that as a good hit penalty. Hit the post. Hit the post. But That's you know what target. it is, though? The post you know, you know what's mad? You know what's mad, though? As a United fan, I've seen Pogba, I mean, Rashford, in the last minute of the game, have a penalty to take us to the next level of the Champions League, and he smashed it into the top left corner. Pass Buffon straight into the top left corner. If that's not confidence, I don't know what is. But... As a football player, like I was saying, if you've never taken a penalty high stakes, you don't know what it's like. Your legs go jelly. You think, what the fuck am I doing here? Why am I here? Can somebody take it? Can somebody else take it? Why not? No, but it's down to you. And if you miss, you miss. Pete, I've seen so many dead penalties go through 
yeah. and go in the net, and the keepers just dive the wrong way. That's it's a fact. Let me hear you. If there were no fans in Wembley, do you think that would have been? See, this is the other thing as That's well. That's Everyone's talking thing, about like home advantage. But it's the opposite as well, because the amount of pressure that man would have been under, because obviously they ain't been playing with fans. Yeah. 60,000 fans in the stadium in the Backed fucking fight. Bro, that's a lot of pressure, bro. Like, come on. You see, in terms of the tactics here, I'm not too sure he got it wrong, and I'll tell you why. If you go for the game and Italy counter you and bang oh, two past you, again, everyone's going to be like, why did he take that risk? You shouldn't take that risk. Last game, we took it to extra time. We had enough energy to take the game to them, blah, blah, blah. Fran. Yeah, but last game, he... Made the subs a lot earlier. What subs? No, what, didn't. What, he subs did. what subs? No, he did. What subs changed the game? There was no subs. The Bro, thing. Grealish, there was Grealish no made subs. a difference against Denmark. There was Denmark no subs well. that changed Bro. the game. No, at the end on, of the day, at the end of the day, what won us on much earlier? Bro, at the, the end game. of the day, what won us the game against Denmark was the fact that Sterling took responsibility and went at the defenders. He went at them and he got a penalty. That's what won us the game. We don't yeah, even but then, know. So, so then, just by that very fact, you're basically yeah. saying individual brilliance won us the game. You're not, Absolutely. That's not tactics. No, yeah. but that's so, not so yeah. in it that, happens in, no, 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 But that's what I'm saying. But what? Because what, this happens in the Premier League as well, where you've got certain teams like yeah. Manchester United. Come on, G. <laughs> where there's always individual players that get them out of certain situations. I want a Crystal Palace t shirt. <laughs> 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 I just clocked that now. Nah, he's repping home team. It's all right, man. Mm. We'll let that run. But there's still. certain, there's yeah. certain yeah. man that carry that carry the team through a game, right? Yeah. And that's not a tactical thing. That's the only thing the manager does is say, express yourself, yeah. be on the pitch, and yeah. do your thing, and then obviously they get it. Yeah. With the Southgate thing, I don't think he necessarily was a tactician in all of those games where we can give full a credit to him. A lot of the stuff that you said, like Sterling attacking, that's Sterling doing what Sterling so does. does. Yeah, yeah. But, you so know, but he you know, knows he's going to do Yeah, that. but do you know how so easy it is? Yeah, but, I'm to telling but, I think there's a, but I think there's a very big difference between just putting on a player that you know is good and is going to do something versus I'm going to tactically make decisions in order to see the game through, in order to, to see the game out. I personally like, feel that him, Like Pep him, is a him. tactician. Like he will say, oh, you know what? I need to take Bernardo Silva off and put Mares on because of this reason to make this change. Where I think South... Like, for example, like, let me pick another player, Kane. Kane has had a few games where it's, he's not really performed and he just gets kept on. But he's 120 still a captain. Minutes. He's still a captain. He's, he's still a captain and, and he's still some influence in but, that team. But in who, are you gonna, who are you going to play him instead of? Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Not, not yeah. as a starter. Not as a matter. starter. You're never going to pick him over Calvert-Lewin. So you're just basically saying just because the man's a captain, no matter if he has a bad performance, he stays on. But he That's didn't. a weak decision. He didn't. He come true in the in end. The last, and he the, scored very In the last goals. game, he never had one touch in the 18-yard box the whole 120 minutes. But he's still doing something. He's a number nine. We never saw Sterling either. But these games get so difficult. Because they're so cagey, bro. It's but like this, that wasn't a cagey game. Italy was pressuring was us for the last sixty. For the last sixty. Right, because you know we were sitting it on it, yeah. Because of that yeah, goal at the beginning. But, yeah. but do you know? Do you know how hard it must be not to sit on it? Do you know why? Do you know how many finals we've seen over the years? Whether it's Champions League, whether it's Europa League, pre- whatever. When it's just a team gets a goal early and they they, they it, still play, but they just sit and you mm. just keep that lead. Like. What the fuck does that even mean, fam? Like, we haven't even been to the final. So, what final are you fucking talking about? Tot- Tottenham, Tottenham, Tottenham. When? How many times has Tottenham been in the? Final? Tottenham has been in the f- in three finals, but you got teams like City, United, and their top strikers haven't even scored in every single final. And you want to blame Kane, fam? Like, no, no one's blaming yeah, Kane. Let like, me talk about <laughs> tactics. I feel like Southgate making the brave decision to not play what people would think is his strongest squad because you say Sancho's had a good season because you say Grealish is. The new, the new fucking star, of the t- but he's thinking about the team as a whole. Stubbornness from who? Well, the manager. I don't is think it's I think he's thinking about no, no, the team no, as a whole. Like, okay, you, know you know what? Yeah, you know what? He got us to the final. Yeah, he got us to the final. So he has got his tactics right. You can't, you can't, you can't say he's got it wrong. He got it right. But you know what? You can make hundred right decisions, but you can always make one wrong one as well. And that so, fucks you. Yeah, exactly. So, but I think I do think he did make some crucial, crucial wrong decisions. In the final. Okay, so yeah. ultimately, let's ask this, answer this question just so that we're crystal clear, yeah? Yeah. Overall, if you had to pick one, like, I'm going to give you two options. You have to pick one option of where the blame lies, if you had to. Yeah. Is it the players or is it the manager? For, oh. for this specific tournament for England. I'll for, say the players. Well, we'd have to say the final, isn't it? Because that's the only one we lost. No, the players for, the for, for the final, I'll say the players. I would honestly say, for I'll the say final, didn't say turn the players. for the final, I'd say the players. You said players as well. Ah, uh, uh, manager. Yeah, for me, for me, this manager. Is manager, man. 
like you know what it is. It's a bit. It, it, the blame is got. A, it's not. It's not even a blame. It's not a blame. Thing. It's not yeah, even it's a blame. Not blame. blame. It's, it's, yeah. it's just where did it go wrong? Exactly. It's just where did it go wrong? And I think those boys on the pitch. And I don't know how you wouldn't do this as a human being. You go one nil up. You've heard it's coming home for the last how many ever fucking weeks. You got how many ever fucking English fans in a, in 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 a, in a crowd, and you think, oh my god, maybe it is our time. Yeah, but look at that the look job, at the man. starting eleven though. It was very I defensive. Think, no, no, no. It was very defensive. No, first because of all, if right? you, and no, no, no. Go on. Even in like when the extra time started, yeah, you're playing for penalties. You're bringing on Henderson, yeah, but you, right? The reason and you're bringing on Sam. Penalties Henderson penalties was the first sub the we made. You're he? playing for penalties. And to be honest, that was uh, that was actually yeah, an attacking. That was, that was an attacking change. He took no. off Trippier, didn't he? Yeah, no, he took to the go four four four, four two. Rice. Rice. He took off Rice. That's just man yeah. for man. Who, who did Trippier come off for? That's man Saka. for man. Who did Saka? Saka. That's attacking. That was an attacking. Yeah, change. but I think he. I think no, but I think Sancho. Yeah, but I think Sancho and Rashford should have come on a lot earlier. Not and Rashford. Grealish and Grealish yeah. should have come on in a Not lot earlier. Bear in mind, it's going back to the same points, yeah? It's going back to the same but points. Rashford ain't defense. Done, one, one, Rashford's done nothing in this court tournament. Like, oh, I love no, it. No, 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 but, but you know what it is, yeah? But you know what it is? Wait, 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 in the hundred and nineteenth minute, because he's a certified penalty. He's taker. not a certified Bruno Fernandez, Paul Pogba. They're the penalty takers for Man United. But Rashford then he would be taken, just behind them. Yeah, that's after. He yeah, takes all our free kicks. Yeah, but it's not a free kick though. It's, it's a, a penalty. It's not yeah. the same. <laughs> you can't just say it's the same <laughs> thing. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's not the same thing. Peter, Peter, I just want you to hear this. No. I want you to hear this. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just say it's the same thing. Bro. Well, a free it's kick not. is one more. One more. It's not. You just said man's got the balls to stand up in a final and slap it top bins against Buffon, and you're saying he should be he shouldn't be taking a, a fucking penalty. I, honestly, if you looked at the bench, if you looked at the bench, man like Rashford has to come on and take a penalty. Rashford has to come and take a penalty. I wouldn't even have put Harry Maguire there, but he done his thing for him. Harry Maguire broke the GoPro. I've never seen anyone do that. He broke the fucking GoPro, and that's a that's 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 a that's a decision made. That's a decision made by Southgate. All right, my five penalty takers. Honestly, I would have gone with Kane for sure. I would have gone with Harry Maguire. No, you're only saying Harry Maguire now because know. of what he did. I tell you why? You wouldn't have gone with him. No, I'll tell you why. Don't Don't lie to let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Defenders in the modern game. Are good ball players, and I think what, for a person, such a no, 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 no. Are you? Are you are you're reaching now. You're reaching. You're reaching, bro. You're reaching. Excuse me. No, no, yeah. You're reaching. Excuse me. No, no, no. You're reaching. You're you actually reaching there. Crazy, crazy or mad? Foolish or foolish? Which one? Foolish, foolish or foolish? Hey, listen. It's my opinion. Can you fuck off? Big man thing. I would have chose my nigga Harry Maguire. That's all. That's all. I would have left Henderson on the pitch. Why? Because he's experienced. He's a player. He's won the Premier League. He's got close. To, did he win the Champions League? Yeah. He's won it. Hey, man. Can I get a I, I hey personally man. would not right, have let him take a penalty. I would have let Henderson take a penalty. Bro, didn't he take a penalty? He took the penalty off fucking Rashford in the, in the friendly. Just and he missed. <laughs> just and he missed it. His first nah, nah. England goal. Nah, you talk nah. about pressure. You talk about opportunity. Nah, he had, I he had let, a chance to score his first England goal and he fluffed it. I and you want to give him a penalty. In the I would have let Henderson take a penalty. Why? Because he's Wait. been there. He's been there. This is different from him. When you've been there, you can take all the penalties you want in training. You can do all of the stuff in training you want. There's no crowds, there's no pressure, there's nothing. You can put it in top bins every single time in training. When it comes to the real stuff, your legs go jelly, you fucking yeah, do yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Luke Shaw would have taken a penalty for me. 100. 100%. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100
I'm fucking dead. <laughs> the moment I walk out of the stadium, I'm going to be shot by a sniper. And he's <laughs> shot in the forehead. Oh, I'm going to be James dead. <laughs> That's not for England, fam. It's a different level. It's a different, different. kettle of fish. Yeah. yeah, but no, Raheem Sterling would not take a penalty for me. The pressure on Raheem would have been too much. No, it's not. No, it's not. Saka is not. No, no, I agree with Bentley there. I agree. Bro, I agree. Saka, I agree. Saka is a young gunner. I feel like he could have been confident. But when he walked up to the penalty and he looked at the ball and he looked at the goalkeeper, if I was Southgate, I'd be like, come back. <laughs> come back. Yeah, yeah. Sterling is more, uh, more experienced, experience, though. Ster- Sterling is more experienced. It doesn't matter. He's Sterling was. He is the most yeah, experienced but player. He wouldn't have taken a penalty for me. He just wouldn't have. That's it. I'm talking about my penalty takers. And then who else would I have chosen? I, I don't Rashford. even know. Rashford. Rashford would have definitely taken yeah, a penalty. Rashford, for me. Yeah, yeah. Rashford would have hundred percent taken a penalty for me. But the question is, should he have brought on these men to take on a penalty? And a lot of Way the things that I'm seeing well. on the on, on online is these men haven't even kicked a ball. That's the point. Yeah, I hear that. But let me tell you something. Louis Van Gaal in that tournament brought on um who was it? The keeper, Tim Krul. To save the penalties, and he hadn't touched the ball, but he saved it. Because he's a seasoned penalty saver, though. But he saved all them penalties. That's the same thing. I Rashford. think I think, I Rashford, think going to the Rashford, penalties Rashford, was a mistake Rashford in itself. A, Rashford is a season. Rashford is a season penalty taker, and he missed. I just feel like... He's not seasoned. I wouldn't say he's He seasoned. is, bro. No, Bef- I wouldn't say bro, he's Bro, before Bruno like Fernandes came, Rashford used to take no, all no, our penalties. He used to be seasoned, Pogba bro. before No, he no, used to be Rashford. No. Rashford used to take all our he's penalties. He's not seasoned. He took the one against PSG. What are you talking about? That was in the Champions League. He took that and he banged it into the top corner. And he's taken many more after that. He's taken so that many more. Was that more a penalty or free kick? That penalty. He banged against, uh, it was a free kick he banged against PSG. No, no, no. It was a penalty. The free penalty. kick was against Chelsea. It was a penalty. Free kick was against Chelsea. There's no way you're going to tell me that. Rashford should not have taken a penalty. Nah, he should have, he no should way. have. 100% he should no have. No way. Saka, I'm not too sure about. And it's not because of his age. Why? Because if you're good enough to be in a team, you should be good enough to take a penalty. Period. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of logic is this? Bro? Are you crazy? So they should be like, oh yeah, this guy's good, but he might not be able to take a penalty, so we shouldn't even play him just because we might go to penalties and he might miss. No. no if he's a good enough professional footballer... So that means everyone can take a penalty? Absolutely. So, so then there's no point making a list. No, because what they've they've obviously got on a previous arrangement of what they've seen in training because they do practice for penalties, man. And they would have picked their best five. There's no way they're gonna say, oh no, yeah, but this is why oh, I yeah, said you're not earlier, one of our best five, but we're gonna pick you. No, no, no but this is why I said no, 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 this is why I said earlier. Going back to Curtis's point, it has to be a collective decision. But apparently, Southgate is the one who said, "No, nah, you're taking the penalty, and that's it." Yeah, but do that's, you think? Do you that's think? Can I, can I, can I, can I if, if my question? manager, wait, if my manager said to me. Timmy, you're taking a penalty. I'll be like, yes, I am. Fine. No yeah, problem. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. Yeah, no, maybe you will. Built that way. But well, not everyone's built that way. Yeah, not exactly. 19-year-olds 90, 90 aren't built that way. Just exactly. Come from. Maybe I'll be but different that's why, that's why I think... <laughs> <laughs> I, that's why I think when he went to penalties, the players had to take ownership. You have to take ownership. Have, yeah, but they probably have took to. ownership. When they were talking in the circle, they probably took ownership, fam. But well, you think Saka? You think Saka? No, but I'm you saying... You said that they planned it from training. I didn't say... <laughs> they, no, 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 no. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I said, what? They would have had their orders. Like, if if we were all in a, in a tournament mm-hmm. and that could go to penalties, we will practice for penalties mm-hmm. and we will say, if the penalty came, you're taking it. But if it came to it and it was time for it and I was like, man, I'm not feeling it, then... You're not going to make me dig it. Nah, but sometimes the orders actually change as well, depending yeah, on yeah. the situation. Yeah, exactly. but you're, exactly. bearing so in mind, bearing in gonna, mind. You're not going to make me step up. But the only thing is, you know when Roy King comes out and says, oh, oh, if there was a young boy going to take a penalty, I'll step in front of him. No, because what if I step in front of him and miss? That's, yeah, mean, but that's, that's not the point, though. You're a senior player, you're taking ownership. It doesn't ownership. mean shit. Bro, nah, nah, it does mean... So you're saying course. being a like, senior was, player doesn't mean nothing. It does, no, bro. It, when, it comes, when, it comes, when it comes to those fucking high stakes moments, it doesn't mean shit. If yes, you're it not, does, if man. If you're not feeling it, what? Oh, uh, nah, nah, what if? What if? Does. What if I'm there? Of course it does, bro. What if I'm there? Yeah, and I need no, a no, shit. No, 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 no. Of course and it I need does. a shit. Yo, yo, or no, I no. need a piss. No. And I'm like, what oh my god. What are you talking about, man? Fuck you. And I need yeah, a piss. And I need about? a shit. And I'm like, Hasbro would never take a penalty. And I need a piss. And I need a shit. And I'm like, I'm not feeling this one for whatever reason. I've had a bad game. I'm not feeling confident. I will be like, I'm not taking a penalty. It's simple. Bro, the best players can miss a penalty. Ronaldo. Harry Kane. Yeah, but that's not what we're saying. That's not what we're saying. We're saying. As a seasoned player, you have, you should be able to go, you know what, let me step up. Guys, 
Let's just, walk, let's just walk through this, please. Like, I bet, I bet, because okay, I'm, I'm hearing some wild things, bro. Some sure. Rihanna shit right here. Like, like listen. Wow, wow, wow. Let's have a nice Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> we're, to- we're talking, and I'm going by a, yeah, lot, yeah. Of this, a lot of the stuff that you said that I, actu- I agree with. We're yeah. talking 55 years. We're talking never been in the finals. We're talking a brand new team. We're talking that we've got to the finals, we've beaten Germany and all of these other good teams. We're talking the biggest moment in English history of recent times. And you're telling me a senior seasoned player that hasn't got an England Cup title to them, to their name, cannot volunteer and step up because they need to take a shit. Well, not Come because, on. Not Come because, on. Put clap for yourself. It's not an excuse, for man. Put clap for yourself. <laughs> put clap for yourself. Oh, one more time. It's not more good for yourself. Put one more game for yourself. <laughs> All right, listen. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying no matter who. No, because you, no, no, but you're, because you, no, but you it did doesn't say matter if it's a season or, or not. Yes, listen, it doesn't matter. Of course it does. No, though. Though. Listen, of course in it terms does. of okay, okay, have you ever seen Harry Maguire take a penalty? Ever in your life? At all. Never? At all. Did he take the best penalty out of all the penalties that were taken? But this is not the point I'm making. There we go. That's so not the point, point we're point, saying. The point we're saying is that. Everyone, seasoned or not, can miss. We understand that. Yes, it's a penalty shootout. It yeah. is literally one kick. Do you know what I mean? The goalkeeper's looking in your eyes, bouncing on the spot. You can be nervous. There's a whole different like mindset on a penalty than just in normal matches. Yeah. But what we're saying is that regardless of the fact that anyone can miss or not, if you are senior in a circumstances like that, you should be offering yourself up. Because I just think it wouldn't make any sense that you are senior and you're sitting back and allowing the young G to, here's to a take question all for of you, that yeah. pressure. Here's so a question. Here's a question. Here's a question. Are we saying that a question. If you had, if the if senior ones missed, I wouldn't mind. Are you if you had a choice between no, Saka or Ronaldo know. to take a penalty, who would you? Again? Yeah. If you had a choice between Saka and Ronaldo to take a penalty, who would you choose? Yeah, but I wouldn't take that. No, no, no. I'm asking you a simple question. I'm answering you. You're a foolish boy. Come on. I'm answering you. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say I'm basing that on experience. I'll say I'm basing that on ability. I'll take Ronaldo. Yeah, but Harry Maguire's not got the ability. So you're you're keep on moving the goalpost. Yeah, but for a penalty take, he's not got ability. Come on, you've never seen him take one. You just said that. No, no, I'm saying, but even for United, even for United, he don't take no penalties. But for that, you're saying Ronaldo. That's the best player in the world. He takes penalties day in day out. I'm trying to prove a point. It's just an example. You should say to me. You should. I'm giving you an example. No, you should say. A seasoned player. This is what you should say. No, yeah, it's a seasoned player versus. Yeah, you can't use Ronaldo. That's the best player in the world. You have, why you not? Have, no, no, why you not? He's seasoned. Hey, hey, hey. You have to say, <laughs> you have to say, Saka or Henderson. That's, That's the it. question. That's the question. Saka or Henderson? And my answer would have been Henderson. Why? Because he's seasoned. No, not because he's seasoned. <laughs> he's got experience. He's an experienced yeah. player. No, not, ne- not necessarily. But oh, do you know wow. why? I'll tell you why. Come on. I'll tell no, you why. Mbappe now. took a penalty for France. He yes. had fucking experience. Not really. But that's not what we're saying, bro. No, not really. <laughs> but however, he's got however he's got the ability. Yeah, he's got the dude, ability. No, bro, France when Rashford, is a bad example Rashford, because everyone took a penalty for when France. Rashford, yeah. the, when whole Rashford, team, the whole team took the penalty when for France. When Rashford started taking penalties for United, he wasn't seasoned. He was. Yeah, but he had the, stake, the best. The he had the best football. ability in striking oh, the ball. We're talking about the final but fifty-five dude, in, years, in, bruv, in yeah, club but football, we're you've we're got thirty-eight games. You've got no, the opportunity to that. win so You're many right. matches. No, you are right. Matches. You, you are right. You are this. right. But we can't talk on stuff that we haven't seen in training. Saka might have scored 50 out of 50 penalties in training. You can't go against someone like that. Yeah, but you're just making it up, bro. You yeah, don't know. No, no, I said good. I said good. I didn't say he has. But for him to be chosen by the manager, it means he obviously believes that this boy will score. That's true. That's it. He's not going to choose him if he doesn't believe he, he's, he's going to score. He's not going to bring Rashford on. Yeah, but and that's Sancho what we're saying. On. That was a bad decision. Dude, because I'm, he believed. I'm, I'm, I'm but if he scored, if decision. he scored, if yeah. he scored, is it a bad decision? If Donnarumma drive, if yeah, Donnarumma, if he died, but, 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 that's, not, if he, but that's, the, that's the same as me saying, I might drive a car with no brakes. I might survive. No, you would not survive for sure. No, I might survive. You would be dead. Two minutes dead. I might survive. Is it Is it a good decision? No, but I'm not You would be dying. Die immediately. Immediately, you'll be dead. Points. Say that again. Say say that again. Let me hear you. Alright, go on, Kofi. Go on, what? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know what it is as well. The moment Rashford misses, the moment Sancho misses, the that gone. third penalty becomes so much harder. Yeah, cool. But I believe that they would have said, "Are you up for this?" And he would have said, 
Yes, I am. Okay, so just on that then, let's say that they're the right penalty takers. Yeah. Gonna take your and it doesn't mean they score. It doesn't mean they score. I said that already. I yes, said sir. Yes, you're right. You're season. correct. Yes, sir. Yes. You know, I, you, you know, I mean, they might score, they might not score. Yeah. Let's say those five were the best penalty takers. They're the ones that banged it in training. Yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. There is, to Peter's point, a psychological impact based on previous penalties from the other team and obviously your own team, right? So are you saying as well that you think that is the right order of the penalty to, to penalties to be Let me taken? tell you what I think. Because let me tell you what I think. Should Saka be taking the very last penalty? Let me Sancho tell you. Let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you what I think. I do not think there's no right and wrong decision here. I just think. Well, there clearly is. Can you shut? Can you shut your mouth? <laughs> Shall I tell you why there's no right or wrong decision? <laughs> let me tell you why there's no right or wrong decision. When United won the Champions League final. Here we go, what? <laughs> oh, because it was against Chelsea. Someone got slapped up that night. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, oh, fuck oh, up. Man, carry on, carry on. Anyway, that day, <laughs> shut, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Guy, They're going to rush you. When we go outside, you're getting rushed. This nigga supported daily. He's at, what's your at? Let me, everyone tell, yeah, tell him he's at so that he can get rushed. <laughs> All right. <Flip. laughs> tell him he's Insta. You know, check wherever he is. They're going to rush him. Um, so when, when, yeah, silent. Hey, when, United, <laughs> <laughs> when United beat Chelsea in the Champions League final, the most seasoned penalty taker we had, who ended up winning the Ballon d'Or that same year, missed a penalty, a crucial penalty. He was what, fourth? Yes, it was. The only reason we won it is because John Terry slipped. That's the only reason we won it is because John Terry slipped, fam. That was a crucial but, penalty. But, and but, but, but hey, listen. But yeah, John Terry. Yeah, but if John Terry scored, it would have been over. Yeah. So that was a very crucial penalty. Crucial. So Ronaldo, who's the best player in my eyes ever to have lived, missed. So how can we say, don't put a brother like Saka there? Because if he scored, everyone would have been like, yeah, BLM, cool. BLM, 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 no, 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 Saka. Listen, yes, yeah, BLM, BLM, yeah, BLM, yeah, BLM. In, his, about probability, in the, in the best it? case scenario. In the best but, case scenario. But the order is very important. Yeah, the order is very, the order is 100% important. 100%. But... If it's so because en sorry, bro. Anderson could have been the fifth man, seasoned as fuck, and he could have missed. My point is, it doesn't matter whoever it is. These are professional footballers, and they they believe that they're going to score. That's why they are at the level they are. Saka is 19 years old. He played in a Euro final. His parents were immigrants, bro, and he has that confidence to get onto the world stage and take a penalty. He could have scored that penalty, and that would have been it. Point blank. Period. It doesn't matter about his age. Donnarumma is a young goalkeeper. He saved three penalties. Can you shut up? Nobody give a fucking damn. <laughs> what? How many? How many? What? How? So what? What? You haven't been? What? What? Saka hasn't been playing since he was a kid as well. Oh come on, man! It's all the same shit. Are we not kicking the same ball? <laughs> it's not the same ball. It's not the same boots we're wearing. We're kicking the same ball. It's a different atmosphere. Can you get the fuck out? Get the fuck out, man. But I swear to God, fam, everything, everything, everything is everything is relative, fam. Everything is relative. If you were in high school, this if you is, this is the group chat, being no, real life, from us. Yeah. Mom, I'm telling you, everything is relative. Everything is relative. If you were in high school, put my phone down by this point. No, nah, but everything, every, hey, listen, listen, everything is relative. If you were in high school and your girlfriend was there watching you take a penalty and you're about to miss it, yeah, when you get to the world stage and you handle things different, it's all relative, fam. It's just. Not the same, but it's pressure, pressure, pressure. No, so it's not really. What it is, it's, pro it's probability. The whole thing is about probability, right? So right, don't make me piss myself. Like we said, yeah, every, said, hey. every, every single player can miss or score. Every yes. single player. Yeah. Every single player from a play, player that plays for Accra and Stanley yeah. or Gillingham Big man. to a flipping Juventus or whatnot, yeah. they can all miss and they can all score. Mm. But what you're saying is, what is the probability mm. that this player, based on his experience, yeah. based on his history, based yeah. on his like winning trophy based on everything he's done mm. that he's more likely to, to win to score yeah. and just in that scenario it just didn't feel right that let's say we said Saka was a good penalty taker fine I'm not even going to argue that point Yeah, but whether he should be fifth for me was potentially the wrong decision I hear that I, mean? I agree with that no no I, I hear it I hear it I just think that if you're a professional footballer and you can make this breakthrough and everyone says, oh my God, look at the progress he's made and his whole life and everything. Like same way you could be a real estate agent who's been working in a job for a month and you can close a deal of 20 million dirhams. You can close a deal of 100 million dirhams. It's a skill at the end of the day. It's pressure, it's a skill. You can do it. Same way anyone can start something now and excel in it straight away. Just the way Sakuraz 
I just don't think that we can say that was the wrong decision. Why? Because it could have easily been the uh, right here's, one. Here's, okay, here's a, here's a thing, yeah. So you just used real estate. So say, for example, you've Look got a newbie. Look at me, I close blood. <laughs> <laughs> for example, you've got a newbie who's just joined your company yeah. and you've got a seasoned professional who's been in the market for 10 years and you just receive a lead now and somebody wants a villa for 100 million. Who are you going to give it to? Can I be honest? Who are you going to give that? Can I be to? honest? Don't say that. Don't say that. Can I be honest? Go because on. you're saying someone. <laughs> huh? I will. <laughs> I will. I will. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you how real this is. Let me tell you how real this uh, is in the real estate this, world. This is, this is First of all, you can't say someone who's new because Saka is not. He's a professional footballer. He plays for Arsenal football team who play in the Premier I'm League. Using your yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying, bastard. But what I'm saying is, we can't say someone who's dead new. We have to use a something relative. Someone. Who's got experience in the game? Okay, so three years. Knows what compared he's compared to someone who's got Perfect. twelve years experience. I honestly, you're not going to give it to the three. Years. Come on! I'll tell you why. Shall I tell you why? Come on! Oh, you are lying. lying. Let me tell you why. Yo, Can I tell you why? Come on! Goodness, oh, goodness. You are my plane is. Elite my plane is in the <laughs> air. My plane is in the air. Can it land? Yeah, oh, Let my on, sheep dog. What I'm saying is, people who are new to the game, who have never closed that sort of deal, are a lot more hungry. They're hungry. It. Oh, here we go. I've seen it in oh, my office. Guy, They're hungry. No, I've that's seen not it. Final. Not true. Not I've true. seen it. I've seen it. I've, I've seen it in my office. I've seen. This happened two weeks ago. Believe me or not, I was actually guilty of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me a lead. I spoke to the client. I spoke to him and he was telling me this and that. I was like, go and fuck yourself. <laughs> Big my thing all my life. If I'm lying, I'm dead. Listen. If I'm lying, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I got a chance to see, I got a chance to service this lead. I spoke to him. He told me what he wanted. I was like, yeah, whatever, you dickhead. This guy's not serious, yeah? The lead ended up going to someone else who was less experienced than me. Now, they're about to close a deal of 25 million. Because I wasn't bothered. I was like, this guy's talking shit. He lived in France. He told me he wanted a villa in Dubai Hills. I was like, I don't really do Dubai Hills. And you're telling me that you want a Shell and Core villa and you're ready to pay this price and you want to transfer in like three months. Yeah, but I, that goes I, down to your attitude. Can you shut though? up? That I, goes I'll down say to your attitude, though. I ain't yeah. got time for that. I only do cash deals that are going to transfer in a month or less. <laughs> if you ain't got that, can you please fuck off and go and find yourself somebody else? But someone else got the lead and now they're about to close the deal. No, 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 no but, but this they're is, more hungry. But this is not the, scenario, but that's not the, the right, that's not the right example. Yeah, but that's, no, 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 that's no, no, the reality no, no, example. No, 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 no it's not. That's it, the example in reality. Yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no, no. His but question but what I'm saying is, is who would you give the lead to? Yeah, but the man gave the lead to you and you fucked it up. Yeah. But he gave it to you. Yeah, but you should. so the question is about who would you give it to? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. But again, but okay, couple of seconds. No, you're still free. Thank you. Boot club, boot club, boot club, boot club, boot club, boot club. But what I'm saying is, it doesn't mean that I was going to be the successful See, man, one. I will tell you that just because I'm seasoned. A man who really lied to your face on these things. You know, so no, but I told you if I'm lying, I'm dying and I'm not dead yet, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, it doesn't mean that that was the right decision. Mm -hmm. I get that. And that I agree somebody that. else who is not seasoned can still do well, the job. 1000%. Yeah, and as, long as, saying, as long bro, as they have the skill. But no, no, hey, no. Timmy, and, that's exactly what Curtis said earlier. That's exactly what I said. I Anyone can that. miss a penalty. Absolutely. Anyone. But you're saying the probability. Yes, and who would you rather go step I don't know. up, seasoned or non-seasoned? Yeah, but you know what it is? I just don't feel like I know best than people who are doing this job day in, day out. That's my problem with it. These men do this every day, and they all- yeah, But they can came, still get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. They can still so get can it wrong. the season. I'm just saying, I'm not ready to go Southgate again. Southgate can get it wrong. Yeah, absolutely. He got it right absolutely. throughout the tournament. Absolutely. I get it. Absolutely. But uh, what I'm saying is he got it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the last But level. what I'm saying is I'm just not really ready to go against So are you saying someone. that you don't critique any football players because they're all professional. They all get 100 grand and plus a year and it's not worth critiquing like what they do. No, it is. Because they're going to get it, it right all it, the time. It, it or is, if it, they get it wrong, you think that they probably made the right decision but it just, it just didn't, didn't happen on the day. It, based on emotion? saying that football is just a game of chance and it isn't. It is. Football is, no, it's not. No, it's not, man. 
football is a game. Was of, it not a game of chance? It's like, not. So, for example, I'll not tell you why it's a game of chance. Should I tell you why it's a game of chance? No, I didn't. Uh, like, let me tell you why it's a game of chance. Uh, Donny's got Timmy. one more of these. Let me tell you why it's a game of chance. Let me tell you why it's a game of chance. One more of these, bro. I swear. I'll tell you why it's a game of chance. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why it's a game of chance. I'll tell you why it's a game of chance. It's a. I'll tell you why it's a game of chance. I'm gonna piss all over all of you. I'll tell you why it's a game of chance. It's a game of chance because that if it was a different ref, if it was the same referee that ref the game yesterday, he was letting all the physical stuff go. That penalty for Sterling might not have been awarded the penalty. And then oh, you don't know what can happen. No, no, no. That's, 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 that is chance. That's not that is chance. pure that's chance. chance. That's fine margins. There's a difference. Fine margins. That's pure chance. Oh, that's pure yeah, chance. Not, bro. That's, that's pure chance. chance. No, it's not. That's pure chance. Yeah, it's that not. is pure chance. Can we move to the next topic? That is pure chance. That is pure chance. I right. think that's chance. Oh, Timmy, it's a game of skill. Just give it up. It's a game of skill. It it's up. a game of skill, but at the end of the day, it's chance. Um, For example, Rashford missing that penalty is chance. He hit the post. Fine margins. That's not chance. Though. What, you no, no, couldn't have scored? The, the, are you the, saying he the, couldn't have scored? The question he I didn't. said is... Are you <laughs> saying he couldn't have scored? No, 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 the question I said he is... Are you no, saying no, no, he couldn't no, no, have scored? No, 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 no. Even the penalty that Jordan Pickford saved, it nearly went under him after. Are you saying that couldn't have happened? But if the, if the wind blew left, are you saying that couldn't have just gone in? Oh, this, this guy. guy. This guy. This guy. Is. Oh. You see you, Bentley. You can't even talk to me. You can't even talk to me. God has already slapped your head. As you are standing there, God has given you a dirty slap for me on my behalf. Bow. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, what's the live saying? That's anyway, just, have we had any questions? That's just what I think. Right, no. Let's go to live. Let's go to some have, questions. Have we had any questions on the live? Right, someone Coffee, said, someone said Harry Kane had a terrible tournament. I mean, sorry, he's had, a, had a terrible final. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he, he didn't did. turn up. He didn't turn he did. up. He didn't turn up. Yeah, didn't but, turn up. Yeah, but, yeah, but what? You can't argue oh, that. Oh, come on. He didn't turn How up. How can you fine. say? Like, yeah, okay, cool. He didn't do. He, did, he didn't what score a okay, goal. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. He no, didn't no. score a goal. Score a goal. He didn't. He a didn't. lot of English players, sorry, fans, will up. say he's the best striker in the world. Well, one of the best strikers in the world. He didn't play like that. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. The day, the day that um um Portugal got beat by um, who did they get beat by again? Who, who did Portugal get beat by? Belgium. Ronaldo didn't turn up. Yeah. yeah so what's your, so what's your point? <laughs> why, why are you blaming him for that? We're not blaming. No one's blaming him. Oh, you're not blaming him, yeah? No, no. Just chicken. Just chicken. Just doing checks. Ah, just, <laughs> just doing checks. Guys, guys, wow. Just, just checking. Just yeah. checking. So, okay. All right, all right. So what's, let's hey, go Peter, to live. Peter, what's the topic? Is Harry Kane turned up or not? Is that the new topic? Yeah. No, no. We'll go to live. I was go just asking about the questions, and obviously yeah. they asked. Southgate out. Huh? Southgate out? No way. No way. No way. As nah. I said, look, look. As I said earlier, I feel like they've made progress over the years. Remember, Southgate's been playing with these players since he was managing under twenty one. Under twenty one. And he's he's he won with them as well. Team. We've always, as an England team, we've always had talent within the team, but we've never been able to play together. As a team, and I feel I like agree. within this tournament, we did show that we played together because even if we didn't, like we did I need win the some games. Huh? Carry on. Four nil, yeah. and we beat Germany two nil. But it was a team effort, and I feel yeah. like that's only going to get better because a lot of our team is very young still. Yeah, I, I, I believe that. I think the foundations have been led by Southgate, so he's the right man to just continue that. And he he's makes it, brave decisions. Look at Calvin Phillips. How is Calvin Phillips in the team? Like yeah. He was playing championship football last year, bro, but he was still brave enough to bring yeah, him yeah, in his yeah. team, and he was one of the best yeah, players within the whole team. All right, yeah, so yeah. Like, let's go around. Curtis. Yeah, but the only thing is now we would never know if he made the wrong decisions because I just genuinely yeah, feel like if you played... I said those days about government. What? <laughs> yeah, shut up, man. I right, listen. I just feel like there's certain things like we would just never know. Like for example, if you played, if you played Jaden Sancho, uh, the amount you played amount or the amount you played Saka, could the tournament have been different? Yeah, it could have been. If you played, yeah. Yeah. if you yeah. played Grealish, yeah. could the amount, could the, could the tournament come out different? Foden, Phil Foden. If you gave Dominic Lewin, mm. Dominic Lewin, uh, what's his name? Carvin Lewin, Dominic Carvin Lewin. If you gave him a chance, could it have been different? If Trent Alexander Arnold was fit, could it have been different? Stuff like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. So, so what? I just Southgate feel in or out? Southgate absolutely in because I don't see anybody else who could do the job. I don't understand mm -hmm. it when, um, when, when, when you get managers mashing, managing a national team who doesn't speak the native language. I think that doesn't make sense. I think, <laughs> I think you need to get always because we had like Fabio Capello. <laughs> Yeah, I think, like I think I think those days are Eric done now. Yeah. I think those so days are changed. Man, like that, you can't be having them yeah, yeah. manage the England England boys. You just can't have that. No, like, but you also had the same thing. No, but if they're, if they're, they're Timmy Patel, if, bro, if, if, they're, if they're if they're very good <laughs> managers, you don't matter where you're from, really. Yeah, 
Yeah. If you're gonna get pet over like I don't know yeah, some League One manager, that's yeah, but you're not gonna have League One. You're gonna have someone like Gareth Southgate. He's good enough for the job. I think you. All right, so Harry Wetnab or or Pet? Harry who? Redknapp. Must say Wetnap. Harry Wetton. <laughs> Harry who? <laughs> no, I would probably have Harry. I, I believe in that, innit? That's my belief. I feel like oh, so your belief the manager has to be of the same country. No, I believe that if you're gonna have an England manager, you need to have someone who probably knows these boys from a very very long time. Mm. I would say so. No. I would say so. For a very long time. No. Say that again. No. What, what, how no. does that even happen? Though? I'll tell you why. Because all these men, say for example, the managers of whoever manages Spurs, blah, blah, blah. blah they've seen these men, innit? Even if they haven't had them on their team, they've seen them from a young age. Because all around the circuit of football. Bro, we've seen scout, them from a young age. Shut up. How long the um, <laughs> s- um, scouting, all of them things there, we've seen it. Hasbala. Can you, someone tell Hasbala? No, talk, but what's, you're chatting. Is he sitting on a pillow? He's sitting on a pillow. <laughs> and uh, all of that stuff, like, I just feel like, no, me, I, I respond, feel like you need to have that. Can I respond to that? It's just funny how this is as far as we've gone when we've had that. Can I respond to that? No, no, no. That's that's not necessarily the reason why this is the far. It's because Gareth Southgate, because basically what you're saying is that any English player, because they're English, any English manager, because they're English, would have had the same outcome. No, I didn't say that. No, so Gareth Southgate had the outcome because it's Gareth Southgate. Southgate so yeah. this is where I feel like, yeah, for me personally, I'm Gareth Southgate in. I feel like he's built a good foundation. He obviously is naive in himself and he's gonna. he's got a lot to learn. You will learn. But I don't necessarily believe that, let's say in the next, in the World Cup, let's say he does a madness, like flops. Like yeah. completely. Yes, I don't yeah. necessarily think that just because he's English, he should stay. Yeah. I don't necessarily feel no. that another manager can't come That's in not who's what English I'm saying. or not English. But you're saying it has to be an English manager. I'll say it's you, you're probably going to probably be get a better outcome if this guy that's, that's not around. proven. That's not right. That's not proven at all. Well, all we, can, all we can say is the last managers haven't been able to get us there. And some people would argue and say we've had a better team than what we have now. We had a golden generation. We, we had a golden generation. You would, if you went man for man, if you went man for man with the team that we used to have, you probably... But we also had English managers when we had the golden generation. Did we? Yeah. Name one. Um, Roy Hudson. Roy Hudson. Yeah, there we go. Nah, that were, wait, what you that wasn't you golden, G. Previous England manager. When we yeah. had the golden generation. Nah, that one was. Oh, during that... No, that was so you're saying that was the golden generation. Yeah. That's it, then Roy Hudson. At the end, that weren't golden. Well, stand up. But there's, but, there's, but, there's one, but, there's one, but there's one component that's always being missed on these things is yeah. that obviously every other peak country that we're playing also has team talent, they're developing, etc. That's, that's what I said so earlier. You can't just look at England in isolation. You have to look at it from as everybody up, else as, as well. Everybody else. So if they're all leveling up, we like, have to do the same. We have to do the same. Do you know what I mean? If they're making like strict decisions in order to make their team better, yeah. we have to also make the uh, same Tim, decisions. Uh, do you know Tim, what I mean? Here's a question, yeah. So, Sam Allardyce or Pep Guardiola? So, if you had to choose one for the England manager's role, who would you choose? Pep Guardiola or Sam Allardyce? Bearing in mind what you said, Sam Allardyce has actually seen all these players. Let me, from you want me to be start. honest with you. And he's been sacked from And, uh, yeah. Kind of fraud. He <laughs> 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 might not get the job because of that one, but if, if he was going for the. <laughs> what did it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a, that's obviously always fucking shameful, man. Like, obviously, when, like. England were winning and Raheem Sterling was banging all these goals in and getting all these assists in like it was like oh yeah King Raheem Sterling signed him up for a fucking give him a knighthood give him, make him a sir and all that stuff and then all of a sudden the, the moment the thing about fans is the fa- fans are fickle in it absolutely like they, they, they get very emotional like football is yeah. an you know what honestly yeah I'm, I'm gonna be honest game, with you, you know I, mean? I don't really want to go into into that too tough because it's just mad negative 100% man. like and it's, like, it's even only even a minority be, of yeah, the yeah. fans we shouldn't as well. even but be shining a, a light that's it There's we shouldn't so even be shining a light on dickheads dickheads being rich But it wasn't. That's the thing. But that's what you're gonna see on television. Yeah, but that's what you're that's gonna what I'm see. Saying. Though. They, they're showing you the video, but that's the media. That's it, it the was media. English fans media fighting English fans. It was a lot. Yeah, a lot of stadium. it. A, yeah, that's but the way right. you're gonna look at it. You're gonna think, oh, they're fighting now. It's like, yeah, yeah. Even it was actually stories. a lot of English fans fighting saying. English fans. They take out isolated incidents. It was a lot of. It, it, some people were getting beat up. Yeah, a lot of people were getting punched in the face and that. But. I was speaking to Pete earlier, and he was like, "Yeah, bro, that's people trying to get in, storm the stadium and trying to get in for free." The context, innit? and people, people thinking, Are "You fucking stupid, bro! I paid like six, seven, eight bags yeah, yeah. just to get here, and what you're, you're gonna you think you're gonna just run in? You're gonna just run in? I would have clapped, man, as well." Yeah, it was way way before the match, still, and so, yeah, 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 it was before the match. No, 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 they was taking yeah, a piss. No, I think. But all, all but there's this other is the media. The media worse. will just focus on the negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah for and real. And this is yeah. the sad thing because the next day 
you can't even celebrate your team because the, all the focus is now on, on racism yeah. 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 Fighting we were in the, the car we were in the car saying Luke Shaw's had a tournament of his life oh. Some, he's come from a broken no in, broken no, leg yeah. injury no, no one's, one's talking about yeah, yeah. how he's done well Raheem Sterling we're not we're, you're not you're not you're not you know we, we can't hear him we can't hear about him Thinking Carl Walker's had one of the yeah. best performances I've seen. John yeah, Stones, Harry Maguire. That's always been the way, though. Jordan it's media, isn't it? It's we've, always been we've, the way. We've this never. is why. This is why a lot yeah. of people don't like England football yeah. team. It's because of the media. That's not Kofi's excuse, though. Like, yeah, yeah, that, Kofi. That little twat over there. Yeah, 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 like even like the keeper. We've never had a good keeper in a tournament, apart from Jordan Pickford. He's done. He's done his thing. And all that racist stuff is just flipping stupid. Yeah, man. I've never seen anything. Yeah, that's bad. I don't even really want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, man, flipping out. Yeah, that's been us, man. Uh, 971 Lounge. Shout out to Kofi. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to H. Shout out to Humphrey. We're in YO Studio. Wave Studio. Dot Wave and that. All right, we're down in Shakeside Road. If you're a musician, if, if you can rap, if you can sing, if you can do it, if you have any fucking talent, shout, shout us, man. We'll link you up with YO. The studio's Pete. We're going to do a video as soon as the studio's live very, very soon. Give him a clap, man. Give Mr. YO a fucking clap, man. Give him a clap. Give him another one, man. Give him another one. Hey, hey, uh, we're good, man. We've got Femi over here. Shout out my broski. We've got Benley, the fucking coward. He was supposed to come on the show. He got a bit, <laughs> got a bit scared. Got a bit scared and that. He, he said his, his waves hasn't really come out yet. So maybe when the wave, maybe when the wave, the wave, when the wave have come, it will maybe, maybe, it will, maybe it will feature on the show, man. Yeah. Fucking hell, we got Fahim, big up Fahim, man, big up yourself, big up your fucking self, man, one of the biggest real estate um, real estate brokers in Dubai, I don't even want to mention Love your company, off. I don't like them. <laughs> right, we got, um, then we got Mr. We got Mr. We got Mr. No Days of H&H, House and House, big up, big up, big up, BBC documentary, soon come, yeah? <laughs> we think, are you feeling? Are you going to feature? Yeah. Are you going to be seeing more of Pete? Mr. No Days off on the Insta, um, what, uh, as well, one of the biggest real estate um, dons in Dubai. And we got Mr. C over here. You ain't seeing no more of me, man. Don't Trust worry, me. man. Yes, the appearance. He just come for the one appearance, one man. He just, he just come for the one. Uh, if you, I did one for the team, though, if you know, If you know what I had to do to get him on the show, you'd know that you're not going to probably see any more of him. And me, man, big up myself, Mr. Just Payne. Uh, come on, man. I could, I could go, go a long way, man, but... All right, let's go, man. Thank you for tuning in. Love. Was, uh, well, see us, man. Fucking hell. <laughs>